Well, also, it's kind of like shrunken in, so it looks better than it really is. You're going to cut all this cool. out, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, because I wanted to have it so that we're already talking, and I just kind of fade it in. And then I say, hey, welcome to this podcast, but I'm actually going to say that, so I don't know how to introduce it. <laughs> po- welcome to this so podcast. Utter Nonsense. By me. What are we going to call and it? Let's call it Utter Nonsense. The Utter Nonsense Podcast. Welcome to this podcast about <laughs> three barely Irish, three with three of the four barely <laughs> Irish assholes. Welcome to. Yeah, you want to introduce it like that? I think we already did. <laughs> I'm John. I'm that's CJ. And that's, that's Paris. I'm yeah. the black one. <laughs> Our token black guy. <laughs> yeah. So a little bit about ourselves. We're all in MassCom, mm-hmm. right? We're all in telecom. Yep. I think so. Uh, he and wants to <laughs> Yeah. I want to be a voice actor. What about you? A uh, filmmaker. Yep. Filmmaker. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they can put me in their films. I'll do voiceovers. <laughs> yeah. So what's the what's the between podcasts and radio? What sets it apart? Well, well, I know, I, what, a ra- I know what a podcast <laughs> is and I know what a radio is. You know what a radio is or you know what a radio broadcast is? <laughs> <laughs> I know what both are. Okay. I've only listened to half of one. <laughs> So uh, I'd say with a radio broadcast, it's more lodged in traditional media. You know, it's very much a slowly declining form of media. Uh, not to say that it's dead, not to say that it's going to be dead anytime soon. I don't think radio is going to die anytime soon. Honestly. Well, I-, I think it's got a few decades left at least. But, um, decades? That's I don't know. I feel like radio... Are you talking about primary radio or talk radio? I'm, I'm talking about primary. I think, or talk radio, I guess. I think primary. I think yeah. both are pretty. Are going to be fine for a long time. I think as long as people have nothing to do like, in the car, it'll yeah. be around. Yeah, like we, yeah, we get we still got cars and stuff. And it's like um, so but, nowadays you can probably so just like on the podcast we talk all the time about how asynchronous media is sort of dominating the airwaves. You know, yeah. uh, you love to see Netflix because you can watch them whenever time you want. You love to see. Uh, give me an example. <laughs> uh, what a house uh, cards? YouTube? Sure. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's great. Yeah. Uh, you can watch YouTube videos whenever you want. YouTube, so Netflix, Netflix Hulu, Netflix. Amazon Video. But that's the same thing with radio shows and podcasts. And radio shows, like more of the older hosts, are doing a good job of you know transitioning onto a digital. Platform. Radio shows are more scheduled than podcasts, right? Podcasts. Uh, well, you know, it depends on the podcast. Well, here's what I find: podcasts. Some of them they do it live, and they'll be at a set time, but you can always watch, go back and yeah. watch or listen to it anytime you want, which is I feel like kind of akin to with web video and TV. People want to watch what they want to watch when they want to watch. Podcasts too don't necessarily have to be live. You can make some. They don't have censors. <laughs> Yeah, and radio is kind of like, you know... Radio, is, yeah, it's a lot more strange. Now. You like, can't record radio, but it's not like... Yeah. That has to be like from the source, I believe, right? Well, imagine... I mean, I, I don't... I'm not as familiar with the format of radio, but I'm not assuming they probably record and replay talk segments. Yeah, they, you know. probably the same thing. Like, if they can play songs repeatedly, then I'm sure it's like sure. the same. Yeah, especially if it's their own media, it would make sense that they would try to use it. In case you missed it, or this morning at 8 o'clock. No. (laughs) Plus, you got all these people on YouTube who are doing their own podcasts. The HD HD podcast, Drunk Official podcast, Joe Rogan, them. Um, Who else? Joe Schmoes. Everyone. Uh, Batman on Batman. Uh, Fucking Kevin Smith. Had to mention the Jersey thing. (laughs) Um, Even Bill Burr. He has a podcast. Does he? And I know none. Yeah, a lot, a lot of Opie and Anthony. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. well, every comedian is getting their own podcast. Almost. Well, it's not a hard to start a podcast. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of pissed off that Pendulet hasn't done anything with that in a while. You know, like they uh, should do a, a bullshit podcast. Well, so he was he's done like a few different like YouTube segments. He's had a few different channels of his own that he's broadcast to, and every time he just shuts it down for. Like, uh, so he does this segment called Penn Sunday Show, but uh, mm-hmm. he does it so rarely that you never know when it's going to come on, and he never saves them, so you can never watch him again. That sucks. Yeah. yeah, I know. And he's, like, one of my favorite comedian personalities, you know, like... Yeah, I like him a lot. <laughs> yeah. Never met him. I uh, met him twice, actually. Twice? Uh, yeah, really nice guy. Like, I've, been, I've seen Penn and Teller twice, so... <laughs> met him both times. Yeah. So more or less with podcasts, if you're, like, any one of even minor popularity and you have something to say and you put it out there people will probably listen to it but uh i don't think anyone knows us so who knows who's listening to this besides us 
Yeah, I'll teach, I'll teach, I'll teach. <laughs> Maybe. By the way, I'm talking about usually entertainment related things, sometimes nonsense. Usually nonsense. Mostly nonsense. Yeah. Better nonsense. So what's our first thing? Flash or Star Wars? Star um, Let's talk Star Wars. <laughs> so, we know that episode eight is coming mm -hmm. and the trailer came out for The Last Jedi. And the main thing the whole trailer hinged on was to hear Luke Skywalker, the protagonist of the series, say, It's time for the Jedi to end. Right? That's what yeah, he said. I, I think that's more or less the Jedi next. <laughs> Come to it. I mean, seriously, how perfect of a title is The Last Jedi? Like, it raises it's so many questions. I almost feel like it's <laughs> slightly it? redundant, though, because episode well, six was Return of the Jedi. They just came back, now they're leaving? Well, okay. <laughs> I mean, this is like, what, well, 30 like, years after the fact? 40? 30? 30? I it was more than that. Yeah. It's 30. 30? 30? Yeah. yeah, okay, so it was right. Luke, uh, older than 30. <laughs> yeah, Luke really. Well, because it, well. it's been about 30 something years since Return of the Jedi. Well, Luke was like. Yeah, Luke was like 20 at the time. He's now like 70, so maybe it is. Wait, what? No, he's not. Yeah, he's more. I'm, well, pretty, sure, real, I'm pretty sure he's 70 in real life. I mean, he was like. He's not. At the let's, time. let's find out right now. Mark Hamill. 78. 65. 65. Okay, so I was close. Still older. Okay, he looks a lot younger here. I, they made him look older in Star Wars. In Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, they give him a I, I mean, it's beard. Yeah, you know, I think. Beard. <laughs> Like, literally everyone I know thinks I'm at least 22, you know? Yeah. So, okay. what do we think? Why did the Jedi have to end? Um, wow. The Skywalker's lazy? <laughs> so, That's I mean, I think the actual <laughs> film will reveal a lot more, but I'm guessing, first of all, The Last Jedi could apply to essentially anyone. Like, Jedi is a plural term. Like, it could apply to just this generation, you know? Well, maybe, maybe it'll but, be um, like a... A Yoda thing. He'll teach her, then just fade away. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't think Luke's gonna die. I think everyone expects him to die. It'll just, just be um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, like I think everyone's expecting it to be an Empire clone, but um, I don't know. I I, I see it as too obvious. You know, I, I feel like filmmakers. Uh, you know, I feel like guys like J.J. Abrams would try to suspend our expectations in that regard. If he dies, I feel like they'll at least have to. Right. Mix it up or something, sure. or I don't know. I have make I him have die. Yeah, you know, make him die in a way that makes like makes him say, "I was wrong," or I don't know. The Jedi are alive, well, they will live on through you. Or I, don't know. I have a well, different. My so my thought is, and you probably think are thinking the same thing. Uh, my thought is that he essentially is saying the Jedi must end so that something new can be born. The traditions are what must end, sure. so that <laughs> the Force will live on. You know? The Force will be with you. Always. But basically, here's what I think. Sorry, and it, it kind of goes along with that. So, because I've seen a lot of things. There was like, you know, um, what, what do they call the old publications now? Legends? Yeah, I think they call it Legends. <laughs> okay. Or sure. Extended Universe, whatever. Okay. A lot of stuff about how Luke went searching for Jedi secrets, you know, after Return of the Jedi. So, what I think, especially because. We just learned we like see, the corrupt past or something. Well, yeah, we see what the Knights terrible. of Ren, whatever that is. He, we know he started training a group of new Jedi, but that it didn't work out. Wasn't and it then like he ends uh, up himself? Wasn't it like Luke Skywalker and uh, oh yeah, Alan Han Solo and Princess Leia's son? Um, was yeah, the one who called, yeah, Kylo Ren. He's yeah. the one who calls. So the, uh, he's essentially the new Darth Vader. Yeah, and he's the one who calls like that trouble in that group. Yeah. He tries. So to the reason for this, I think, is because the Jedi. All their customs are very polarizing. Like it's either you're completely Good. detached from emotions, mm -hmm. or you're just on the dark side. And I think well, what Luke's perspective is is that we can't have it be like this anymore. You can't have two extremes. Remember exactly. what only one said. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Well, uh, yeah, I mean that's actually a really good point. I, so it kind of goes back to what I said earlier. Just the notion of good and evil in storytelling is sort of a dying concept. It's sort of this idea that. I don't know. The world isn't black and white, you know? Like, it's gray. Yeah. Like a gray Jedi. You know what? <laughs> Which I, is a thing. Here's what I think. A gray Jedi is a thing. <laughs> it's a Jedi thing. that leaves the Order and seeks out studies on their own. Okay. It's like, they don't, they're not fully dark side. They embrace basically knowledge from all mm -hmm. aspects of the Force. Sure. So and they're their own free agents. So I think he's going to okay. go more along the lines of that, yeah, that makes we sense. need to learn everything we can about the Force and then find a balance rather than... So he's like the opposite of Zayn Lord from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> uh, no, that's I'll take your Hearts, words, but uh, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. That's probably good. Yeah, now, now, I feel, uh, now I feel like I'm the odd man out. I was hoping maybe I knew that. <laughs>
Well, what I was gonna say was, I think that maybe what they're gonna probably do, while also saying, like, what, like your theory, mm -hmm. I was saying, like, hey, we need something up new because Jedi is like the old ways and kind of stupid. Right. I think it's gonna probably like build up to like maybe um, what's the name of the main character? Ren. Kylo Ren. Ray. Oh, Ray. Ray. Yeah. Build up to Ray dating the black guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. No, because Jedi aren't allowed to love. So what if this new way? And the new way will allow it. I'm yeah, kind of sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was kind of weird though, because they hinted that that they might have a thing in The Force Awakens, but then that's what will kick that kickstart Episode Ten when she turns evil. <laughs> yeah, but, it, but he he got like his back all messed up by the lightsaber, so isn't he a paraplegic now? Who uh, John Boyega or um, Finn? Finn, yeah. Yeah, is that what happened? Him? I remember, yeah, well, I remember that happened, but I don't remember that he got like something. I don't know. It's been I mean, like yeah, early years. I don't remember like Lincoln's. Lincoln's. He walked at the end, I'm sure. Cause, like, no, he, he didn't. Did. He was just like... Oh, I mean, we yeah. see him in like a cryopod. We see him healing like in the trailer for Lost Jedi. Oh. So all I remember it's only on there for like half a second. But, um, I, I, I thought sure that was him in one of the ships. Like he was piloting it and just had his eyes closed. No, I'm pretty sure it's him like in some sort of stasis. That would make more sense. Right? Yeah. I remember all I remember from like the ending of that movie after I don't know they got separated by an avalanche or whatever, or um, the glaciers break the world breaking apart. I just remember the part when R two D two just came up with the map to Luke Skywalker, and I was like, "You had this the whole time." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Are Why you? did no one hack this robot? Got it. You yeah, expect me, you expect me to believe with this future technology and this robot sleeping? Like no one's like, "Yo, let's just like I don't know data mine." Yeah. There was a I mean, it's a, it's a digital brain, you know? They could just transfer him onto a new R2 unit, right? There was a I lot mean, of things wrong with R2. He just yeah. chose to be asleep because he was depressed that Luke yeah. Skywalker was gone. Yeah. But he yeah. knew where he was. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll There's probably a lot of holes that need to We'll probably get a reason. Maybe Luke Skywalker say, hey, don't do that. Maybe they'll make an entire <laughs> movie off of it. Yeah. There were a lot of holes. He probably is going to say, like, hey, I told you not to. Don't, don't tell them where I am, R2. I don't know. Because R2 was like his... His pal, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. I, yeah I'm just hoping Wait, that so when he comes out, it fills in a lot of the cracks from The Force Awakens and kind of puts it all in context. Yeah, the reason would be I'm just hoping it's does not another Empire. Like, Empire is my favorite Star Wars film to date. Uh, you know, new ones, prequels, original series included. Uh, but I'm really hoping they break from the original. Like, the biggest criticism that I had and the biggest criticism that I think most Star Wars fans was, had about Force Awakens. Awakens was that it was a carbon copy of the original Star Wars. I mean, hope. It's, yeah, it's very much like the whole J.J. Abrams <laughs> member. Oh, my thing, mom you know? hated it because that was the first thing I said when we walked, walked out of the movie theater. I was like, you know, that was just a new hope again. Because like, <laughs> I was like, I mean, I'll take a note. Really bad thing. You know? It wasn't, it wasn't. <laughs> But I was like, I was taking note. Like when they mentioned like the new Death Star, I'm like, what? And then they were on a desert planet. Like, they even cut it. They copied like the scenes too. Like they're all around, you know, talking about okay, how we're yeah, gonna blow like, the Death Star. Yeah, then the part, then part, six, part they blew up a planet. Was that in New Hope or what? That was when they yeah. Um, uh, they blew yeah, all the wrong. Yeah, now they blew up yeah. four planets. And does does the one thing. You don't know anything about the planets. You don't know anyone on them. Nobody gives a shit. We just know there's someone lived there. Yeah. <laughs> and well, I mean, you sort of see the. It's like. Oh, what's the one planet? The uh, I, I thought it was Coruscant, the one. Right. Yeah. Oh, fun fact. Um, mm -hmm. Did they show a close up of some some woman, like showing her reaction in that? And she currently plays uh, one of the characters in Legends of Tomorrow. No, oh, that's cool. Cool segue into the Flash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know the guy who played Matt Parkman in Heroes. Uh, yeah, he was there. He close friend of J.J. Abrams actually, so that's why he had the cameo appearance in the actual boardroom when they were mm -hmm. planning to blow up. Uh, yeah, I half expected him to start trying to read people's minds and do. <laughs> yeah, admittedly, he was like one of my favorite characters from Heroes, which is why Heroes Reborn pissed the fuck out of me. I think. Yeah, the didn't only they make him a bad guy? They made him a bad guy. Yeah, I, I think the only. And they the, uh, tried to redeem him, but they basically made him just the biggest douchebag, the matchful. I think the only like maybe hero six um, TV show I've seen was probably Smallville, and I didn't even watch it. Yeah, no, I was <laughs> I was pretty much on and off about it, and I think we talked about this one. We did. How your mom did. said she was going to watch it. She was going to watch it. Uh, you would fly. Oh uh, yeah, and, and it uh, lasted the very last episode. I told I told her at the beginning. Apparently, when I was six, didn't it go for like eleven seasons? Or yes, something? Yeah. Yeah. and it ended. Yeah. In two, it ended in two thousand and ten, right? Or eleven? Something uh, like that. eleven, and then they continued it. In a comic series called oh, Season oh, Eleven. Oh my god! Don't, and don't, they, they they still started making stupid changes. Like they brought in Batman, and they had Nightwing with him, but Nightwing was Barbara Gordon. What? Ah, oh, why? 
Wait, I thought Nightmare because, was the first Robin. Yeah, it is. Too yeah. Very soon. But because it's Smallville and they have to change things, they just Smallville. Because oh it's God. Smallville, we... I don't know. That, and what's scary is that's probably like the best Superman portrayal of the last 20 years. Was that, I thought it was the only one. <laughs> well, there's uh, Henry I know, Cavill. I know. Yeah, okay. I'll just catch gotcha. But um, Henry Cavill's... He hasn't... He's really a good Superman. I mean, he's not awful, but uh, it's fun to make fun of that. My, okay, I like my the, complaint, they don't let him talk enough in the movies. Okay. <laughs> my favorite Superman was obviously the one when you were like, he had the like vision to rebuild walls. What was that? <laughs> George Reeves? I you mean Chris for Reeves. No, the... I think what he's talking about is from the old TV show. No, no, it was like a movie. It was like a movie. It was like a. I just remember at one point he was like in space at one point fighting some guy. I just remember at, there was at one point he used like a, his vision to rebuild a wall. Just this further just. Proves how much I love to hate Superman. <laughs> I just love that. He, That's my like, just movie. throughout his entire history, there's been so many cheesy powers that he's had that <laughs> they've basically just written out over time. I mean, hey, look and at those. He, he's look whatever at, he needs to be. Yeah. yeah. It's super. And he's super. He's super. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, so <laughs> he, there's, like, and this is like one of the biggest problems I have with like the Christian. How is Batman universe. different though? Batman always has the tools yeah. to get anything done. Remember, Adam they're West two Batman? sides of the same coin. Adam West Batman. Batman. Best Batman. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Batman never, uh, you know, reversed time by violating the laws of physics. I mean, that's that right. That is mo- that's right. That's a Superman. That's a, that's a Superman Whenever I point that out to people who like love the old movie, they're like, "Remember that time Superman? Dumb. <laughs> and I'm like, Remember that time yeah, Superman flew around the space and spun the planet around him? Yep. <laughs> that's the time. That's the one I'm thinking of. What was that one? Called? That was, that's I think the first one. Yeah, it's the first one. one. You know what's uh, funny? Christopher Reeve, yeah. That um, must be the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah what's, what's funny is Richard Donner, he was also going to direct Superman 2, mm-hmm. but they let him go. Yeah, didn't he direct like 10 minutes of the final film? Yeah, yeah, so there is a DVD out there, Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut, and in it, he does the same damn thing at the end. He flies around and reverses time. Sweet. I don't remember why, but <laughs> he does it. I mean, th- yeah. why not? If I could do that, I'd do it all the time. Like, oh, dang, I was late to work. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 70 on my test. I want to be fine. Uh, exactly. Honestly. Exactly. Well, if you could reverse time, Man, like, I basically wish there's no real world consequences, you know? Like, dang, I really Unlike wish I flash. didn't do that thing. <laughs> Which we should yeah, talk about. Yeah, because you fuck yeah. up the flash. Okay, whatever. You travel back in time a lot, yeah. apparently. Don't, don't travel back in time, Barry, but, you know, travel back in time. Don't do it, but, you know, don't do it, but... Also, yeah. the bad guys can do it as much as they want, and they'll be fine. Yeah, yeah I mean, so, I'm, so, I'm, so I know you don't watch it as much, but nope. that's basically, like, the biggest uh, cliche in the entire thing. Like, he can <laughs> essentially travel back in time, but uh, every time he does it, it has disastrous consequences. Whatever you do. But for whatever travel reason, back in time. for whatever reason, he's fought against three different speedsters, and yeah. any time any of them have traveled back in time, it has no consequences whatsoever. Because they're doing it wrong. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Everyone knows the they right way to time travel was, was the, the time raids that come out. Oh, that's sure. Because in, um, <laughs> in Legends of Tomorrow this season, uh, reverse Flash, he's in it, mm-hmm. and uh, you know what happens to Zoom at the end of the season two? I, I've wait, heard some things. I is, know he is reverse, dies. Is Reverse Flash like a slow drunk? <laughs> <laughs> he's the reverse, the reverse <laughs> shadow. But um, yeah. So Eobard Thawne, he's in Legends of Tomorrow, and the the creature you see Zoom become at the end of season two, he actually comes after him, but they, they manage to avoid him. So still no consequences. Yeah. Okay. You decided to go the Just other the way. Just the concept of the Speed Force, I find ridiculous. It's it's, it's their plot glue. Whenever yeah, something know, makes exactly. no scientific sense, it's, it's, it's the Speed Force. force. It's, it's, it's the holding speed it together. Force. The Speed so Force, the, magical force that science so can't explain. So it's kind of like a force. Metal Gear Solid with uh, nano machines. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> nano machines. Nano machines. Nano machines. Yeah, nano machines. It's like whenever it's something about time travel, it's like, but if even if he did that, wouldn't that mean this still would have happened? Wouldn't that mean they still would have been there? I mean, and guess what? Speed Force. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> just uh, oh, yeah, Speed Force. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speed, Speed Force. He's too yeah. fast for that. But if he ran that fast, he'd just obliterate all the air particles and create a nuclear explosion. That's Speed Force. Speed Force. 
Uh, honestly, I, I don't think science is the first thing on people's minds when they watch a CW show. <laughs> Probably not. It would be it would be on my mind, so I can have a better way to criticize it. Barry, what you're seeing is the speed force. Your past, your present, your future, all at once. So you need to focus on where you want to go. Who's Avatar? For those who are watching season three. Avatar? The episode just aired tonight. We didn't get to see it, so we're talking uh, about yeah, so, uh, I heard that Flash turns evil or something. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, there's That's so many weird. theories, but um, one of the theories is that he's Flash from the future. But uh, yeah, so the brief wrong. recap from last week, um, I'm just assuming people have seen the rest of season three. So, um, basically, Savitar... He, okay, so the Flash travels to the future to essentially find out Savitar's secret identity so he can stop him in the past because somehow finding out his secret identity, I guess, makes him pull him. And then Professor tells him they went too far and they had to go back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, okay, so goes to the future, <laughs> tries to find that, meets his future self, and future self doesn't know who Savitar is, and his well, future wife ends up dying no matter what. But he does oh, say but so that they have a box well, that they can throw other in. people, I guess. Hmm? They other people, yeah, I guess. You know, if that would no, be the good solution. It was no, no, no matter what. But that was the thing. He has Patty from season two. Yeah. Why don't you just run to uh, I mean, <laughs> who's Patty? Happened. It's... They had a relationship. It's, it was such a brief thing. What's, Bar what's Barry's last name again? Alan. Patty um, Alan? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It has a certain ring to it. Um, What's better than Iris West Allen? Iris West uh, Allen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got me there. Hmm. Okay. Um, is, is Patty inside the machine? Okay, so it essentially <laughs> ends. Oh! That would be great. <laughs> because he ended up like. Tur she wanted him to tell her that he was the Flash and he wouldn't, so she had to trick him to find out. So she's like, now I'll get my revenge. I'll show you. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. So okay. Plot so essentially the episode ends yeah. with uh Caitlin Snow as Killer Frost essentially forming an alliance with Savitar in our time. Yeah, she seeks him out because she wants like she she wants she has to, a split personality yeah. and she wants to get rid of one of them. So, so when, she, she, when yeah. she's Killer so, Frost, she wants to get rid of So Kate. Savitar essentially wants to make Killer Frost from now. So and, uh, the way he gains her trust is by taking off a suit. We don't see his face. We have no idea who it is, but just her reaction. Reaction that she knows who this guy is. She knows that he, she can trust There's going to be someone that no one knows. It is really me, your teacher from your first, from your first grade class. I, I will say... <laughs> My, my it brother. Could, it could be her father or something, you know. It's like, me. That's was my one guess. But we have, have we ever seen him? Uh, no, we've seen the mom, which and mom's a mom kind of bitch. Plot you know? twist: Mom yeah. has become a bush lesbian, and that's why she looks like a man. <laughs> She's trans. <laughs> I ran so far into the speed force. I ran past my own gender and mom, the other one. But mom, how, how are you? A mom, how are you a man now? Um, <laughs> No, that's the mom's secret the whole time. I was really your dad. Oh, that's why I was never around. <laughs> oh, dude. So, flash theories. Who is Savitar? I will say my brother's Alan's mom. <laughs> Definitely not. My brother has been watching it. He told me that it's pretty obvious if you've been paying attention, but I haven't been paying attention. At it's all. not pretty obvious because I have been paying attention. And so now, if your brother's wrong, and there's so many conflicting well, he theories on the subject, oh, that's what it is. He cheated. <laughs> Yeah. There's well, so many conflicting theories on the subject that it's not obvious, you know. Uh, so, the one thought that just occurred to me, uh, it could be someone from Flashpoint. Like, it could be, like, someone guy. that Barry essentially ended as a result of Flashpoint. Yellow guy. It's not... Who, oh, Reverse Flash or Kid Flash? Eobard Thawne. He, he, she, yeah, he's talking about Eobard Thawne. Uh, yeah, I, I got Flash. it. It's uh, bizarre. <laughs> Okay, um, so are we... Is Bizarro in Supergirl? I have no idea. Supergirl and Flash did a crossover. I do remember There's been that. a few crossovers uh, between. Then let's not talk Super about that. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> let's not. They weren't... Uh, it, it was, it was, it was the early was, one. I think the first one they did was decent, but um, just the musicals. It was a musical right. episode, and they, and they so, come and up with some hack way wait for it to happen. Like, it was completely canonical, <laughs> too. It played into the plot perfectly. Why did they have a musical? Because cause they they, they went up against the music master or the course. music maestro, Mi music of maestro, course. and he says you must play out this musical film in order to escape. That That's wasn't it. even like the best portrayal. Was it a comedy or was it just? Uh, I mean, it's The Flash, so, so I'm a little bit of both. <laughs> Think of your fellow man. 
Lend him a helping hand. Put a little love in your heart. So, so let's come to a consensus on who Savitar is. Uh, I'm leaning towards Wally right now. Savitar is my future good. Wally. <laughs> future Wally. Because, yeah, that's one thing we didn't mention. He had a strong okay. reaction. Yeah, so basically uh, comatose. we basically know with Wally that uh, oh, no. in the future, <laughs> Wally essentially goes after Savitar after, uh, after his sister's death. And uh, whatever he sees scars him to the point that, first of all, he's completely paralyzed from the waist down, or, you know, it could be psychosomatic. He, just, he got scarred. It's really vague. Well, he got scarred and the, um, I was going to say, it's you know, a shame you can see he's a male, because what if he was Jesse? Because remember, he said, I have big plans for you. Well, it's definitely not Jesse. Damn. <laughs> well, listen. Well, I'm just assuming it's probably not here's Jesse. My, here's my no, theory. Definitely. Okay. Based so, on what we've told you. <laughs> so what you've told me is, it yeah. honestly can't be anyone related to him because they're all dead. Or will be dead. More or less. And, yeah. um... Yes. Every female in his life is gone. I don't know anything about his father. His father is apparently probably... His father, his father is dead. dead. His father yeah. is dead. His, mom's his father dead. is killed by the season two. Mom's dead. Father's dead. Everyone's dead. <laughs> so well, well, all his parents are alive in the flash point. Of so, so his parents are alive now. Maybe. They're, They're not alive. alive. Okay, so, his current time so everyone's dead. Everyone's, everyone's, Basically, everyone's dead. And was it from what I cannot tell, the Flash has no friends other than girls who are going to die eventually. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that would be messed up if it was Henry Gowling. It, well, it could be like Henry. One of Henry Allen's alternative personalities, like one of his personalities from another universe, is Jay Garrick. Yeah, Jay Garrick. So yeah. how we end, how do we end this <laughs> with actually watching the episode, watching the who it is? Ah, uh, yeah, actually, you want to watch that tonight? <laughs> Not the whole episode, just like get to just no get to the part where we find out who it is. We gotta watch we just parts leading up to it. Yeah. No, I don't want to. Oh, well, that was the whole thing. See the episode. That, that is completely real for me. Well. So, coming from close, everyone who knows him is dead. Yeah. All right, so it obviously can't be anyone that this girl knows that we've met because everyone so we've you're met thinking is Jess. You, you're thinking it's her dad? or I'm, I don't know who that is either. We haven't met well, him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, don't well, has, we don't know who the dad is. I would either, imagine. It has he to did, he did say, yeah. did you watch the trailer for the next episode? The one that no, tonight? Uh, Barry says that uh, the whole time you've been playing all our fears, like, you know each and every one of us, like, you know what we're afraid of, oh, you know God, how to make God, it work against insane. us. I got it. It's That's why I was saying maybe it's a weld, but that doesn't make any sense either. See, it, yeah, so it obviously can't be anyone that, it's someone that he knows. It's someone that, it's someone that everyone knows. It's someone that knows all of them. It it's someone be, that knows it, all I mean, of them. could be HR. But they know him. I've never trusted HR, but I don't think it's him. <laughs> so obviously, I, I putting all this together, I figured out who it could possibly be. Think about it. Barry's gone back in time. Do you think about the whole Speed Force thing? Yeah. Think of how much that may have caused some ripples or like changes in time. Well, that's Savitar how does watching. blame Barry for yeah, exactly for, so, for something. He says, "I exist because of you." For some reason, I exactly. Know. They always say it's like, well, it's, probably, it's, probably, "It's probably because of Flashpoint that Savitar exists." Exactly. So right. Savitar, yeah, he someone, said that. Yeah. If you saw him as a result of Flashpoint, then think about how like during Flashpoint things that happened, like for example, I would say like a uh, Batman's. Well, I don't know if Batman's in well, the show. this isn't there's no part. Yeah, there's yeah. no Batman. No, it's uh, completely different. Like, it, this Flashpoint has nothing to do with, like... This Kong is if everyone didn't exist Flashpoint. except for Superman. And... <laughs> Honestly, Superman's not even part of this. So Supergirl is. So well, Super, no, no, he is. Supergirl. Um, Supergirl is he's, in, he's in Supergirl. Yeah, but Supergirl in, takes place in a different universe than Flash. What? Well, she's already crossed over multiple times. Yeah, but... So, the, technically, he is in their extended world. So, exa yeah. so exactly. So, putting all that together... No it's, Batman yet, though. No Batman. It's quite obvious that it's going to be Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> All that build up. I thought you had a good theory. No, I don't. I don't know much about it. Fair enough. What, what, what do you think? I'm Charlie. going with Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Nano <Yeah>. machines. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm still leaning towards Wally. Okay. Though so you're making me think it might be Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out soon. And talk about next it. time. Next time. Next time on, on utter nonsense. <laughs> Somewhat nonsense. Well, we, we didn't do an actual song. Okay, what do you want to sign off? But that was a sign off. Yeah, I thought that was. Is the sign off? I thought that was. No, I thought the sign off was. This has been utter nonsense. Somewhat nonsense. Yeah, I guess that. No, was. I like utter nonsense. Oh, we did the same thing before. We did it. We did it this time too. Name the show or not? Yeah, but we did it the last time. Well, you like I said something, and then you said something else. We just kept building up or something. Thank you.
And I, just, I went down that time. We did it before, I was like, you know, I think I'm just gonna fade this out as we're just debating it. This is no bait. This is what the hell we should be. I don't know. <laughs>